So here's the former UFC flyweight champion, the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno, first Mexican-born UFC champion, and remarkably made his pro debut all the way back in 2011 in Tijuana when he was 17 years of age. I mean, a baby. The guy was a baby. And still today, proven to be one of the best fighters in the world. He has a tremendous skill set, great grappling, great wrestling, great boxing, unbelievable cardio, and that Mexican spirit, that fighting spirit that carries him through the tough times. I will stand out here on the limb and tell you, I did not expect this from Brandon Moreno, yeah. but to see him overachieve has truly been something special. Let's see if he gets the job done tonight. And of course, as many of you know, he is now training in the United States of America, and that, of course, has led to some big results of late. Huge spot for the assassin baby, Brandon Moreno, here tonight. argue in terms of prospects coming up in this division this man is as well-rounded as any fighter in the weight class tonight believes he'll have the striking advantage but not afraid to grapple if the fight goes to the ground as well well when you possess that type of skill when you have all the abilities you're not afraid of where the fight goes this man believes that he's just better and he has proven that every time he steps into the outcome he is well-rounded and many say it but this kid is well-rounded and he has shown it in his octagon appearance. Yeah, it comes from a great camp, gets a lot of different looks, and health as well. When he's been healthy, he's looked like one of the best fighters in this division. for this flyweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC highway champion of the world, Brandon the Assassin Baby Moreno! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Alex Perez! Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. All right, so here's Brandon Moreno as he gets ready to get going here early in this round. The jab has been a big key for him as he has evolved into one of the best flyweights in the world. You know he can grapple really instinctive when it comes to his offensive submission game and believes there might be an opening for a choke here tonight. We shall see. Beautiful job getting those hands up. job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Oh, beautiful. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Ooh, I, I don't do that as well as you do. But man, he's coming out swinging tonight. He is bringing the heat. This dude is trying to end this night early. Can you give us some ooh please? Ooh, wee! <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Oh, he lands yet another hook here. He certainly landed several in this round and starting to find a home for it consistently. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, he's opening up on a mouth. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. 
All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Another strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting targeted now. He's been hitting that spot so much. Perez has got his hand looking for a guillotine choke. You better protect your neck when you fight this guy because he's got the guillotine locked in. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get some. Moreno's back in half court. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Perez has got him in a crucifix now. Going to go to work from the top. Oh, big elbow. Perez is back to the side control now. Two minutes to go in the round. Perez has got him in a crucifix. Going to work from the top now. Oh, get the cut man ready. Good series of elbows there. Oh, yeah. He's got his work cut out for him. He is tearing this guy apart with those elbows. All right, so the swell is becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling start. Right against the takedown now, DC. We'll see what he can do in this advantageous spot. He set it up beautifully. Let's see if he can now take full advantage of it. Big ground and pound. There will be no yellow flag for targeting. This ain't football. In fighting, it's all fair, and it's getting worse. One minute to go in the round. block there. Well, watch for him to set up that hook again here. Oh, there it is. Saw that one coming. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. All right, so he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. We'll see what he can do. Time to perfect. This will leave an impression in the judge's mind. And as his opponent, you can get back to your feet right away because you can also sway the judges by getting back up to your feet and maybe exploding with one last flurry. Oh, nice elbow. Final seconds of round one. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, nice combination of ground and pound elbows there by Perez. Oh, big elbow. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, we head back to the stools, and hopefully this is not the end of the fight, but I don't have to tell you fans out there, the swelling on the face has gotten extreme, and I do believe this fight could end at any moment. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, round two. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Perez. Starting to do some more. to the head, it's blocked. Well, we know you fans out there generally don't like premature stoppages, but I'm not sure this would be premature. I mean, his face is essentially shut closed at this point in the fight. He's just been beat up. He's been outclassed, he's been outworked, he's been outsmarted. His opponent has just been better. He's been better in every aspect of fighting, and it's showing in all the swelling that is on his face. Nice. Pressure. Keep going with that. 
This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Moreno's doing a nice job protecting the eye with that. He is stunned, drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. fight going away in one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Oh, big knee to the body, man alive! Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the clean point. Left hand connection now for Brown. Uh oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, with authority, the body. Come on, give me some more. Sniff that one out as he blocks it. Perez's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Moreno gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. He's setting up the armbar. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. You need to work on this position. No way! He got it! This is a guy that never gives up on himself. He was able to clear his head, defend the armbar. The fight looks done. He lives to fight on. start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Oh, somehow he got out! That was beautiful. Look at how he brought his hips up in the air. Used his momentum to swing himself back to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Oh my goodness, that dark choke is very tight. Everybody in this arena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call the shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 26 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by submission due to a dust choke, Alex Perez! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very hey, tough man. fight, but he knew that if he did Everybody everything right, he would get to his position the wall, with just the crown, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did My just that.